Good evening, guys. Well, I've made up my mind what board I want. I'm going to put the ASRock in. I'm going to change the processor on it. I want to use that one. I want to use the processor I've got on this one. So, let's get cracking. First, I need to remove the upgrade cards. I've got the Ethernet card to come out. Video card to come out. Which I'll need to note down what it is so I can go and find the drivers for it. Hmm. Either that or I may look through my other AGP video cards and see if I've got anything. Uh, better. Not that it matters, but if I have, I might as well make use of it. Now, uh, chassis fan can stay exactly where it is. Power cable, the board has got to come out. Audio for the front, and USBs have all got to I'm off. All the cables, the power switches, all the IDE cables. I wasn't going to, but I think I will. I'll take the memory out that way as well. Whoops. Um, I will lose about half a gig of RAM because. Uh, I'll put two gigs in, as you can see, using four 512 meg sticks. Uh, so I'm going to put a gig and a half back in for the time being. Let's see if I can get a gigabyte stick uh, off of eBay at some point. Uh, I've also got in my watch in a couple of um, KVM switches. Reason being, instead of have most of my computers in the collection all kept in dust in the uh, cupboard, I get a KVM switch. I could set several up on my um, other computer desk in the lounge and actually use a few of them. Okay, so. Off comes front panel, front panel, the motherboard. I have got to go and get something from the bedroom. I forgot. I need the uh, tub that's got all my IO shields in because I need it for that. There's something else I need. Oh, yeah, some blanks, but they're in the same stackable tub system, so. Always drop one. Guaranteed. Guaranteed you'll always drop one. Look at all these screws here that I take out from the motherboard so I can put the same ones back in. Is there one up in that corner? No, there should be, but I obviously didn't put one up there. No, I think I've only got the one. No, there's two holding it in. I'm going to take the bottom one out first. Then, I've got a hot hold of the heat sink so it doesn't drop. Oh, oh, no, I missed one. One right in here. I'm sure, this is a, yeah, it is, it's a wider board. The Azrock. So, I'm going to put that down there. Wiggle this out, take the fan cable off. Right. right. So I want to change the processor on that, don't I? If that's the processor I'm thinking of, it's over 3 gigahertz. 
Most of me uh, IO shields and blanking plates and some assorted laptop bits in it. But all I'm interested in is the um, IO shields. Jay earlier, and uh, he's quite right. If you're gonna play around with your processor like I am and change it, it's best to clean it and put fresh uh, thermal on it. And um, probably not too much, as I've obviously bloody done with this one. <laughs> Far too much on it. cleaner as well but at the moment I don't have anything suitable for that but uh, usually a bit of tissue does get it nice and clean so what's my size on this one yeah it's right 3.2 
So, I don't tend to, don't actually tend to keep this motherboard. So, I'm just going to throw that out the way. got some thermal paste all over the worktop. I'm doing it now because it's easier, or I find it easier anyway, to uh, put the processors in while the board is out of the machine, than to do it when it's in the machine. I'm just going to have a look at the size of this process. Yeah, that is smaller. So, turn that one out. Pay attention to the which way round it's got to go in. And it actually looks like it's got to go in. the right way it should drop straight in. Now what I'm going to do is just give the bottom of this a bit of a wipe as well. Like I said it's better to do it if you've got some uh, like some alcoholic cleaning spray or something just to make sure you get as much of it off as possible. And what I like to do when I do this, you don't have to, some people will just plonk a blob in the middle like that and then put the heat sink on but I like to Spread it around so I get a nice even coat all the way around. And uh, I've never had any issues, overheating issues from doing that, which is why I continue to do it. It was giving me issues and I wouldn't do it. Right, we'll turn our heat sink. Make sure the four clips are in place and then get that over. That's the processor in. Uh, move this one out of the way. I will put that one in the other board. Uh, when I'm done. What I'm just going to do, just to get this started. I'm going to lay the whole system on the side. That way it's just easier. Because I haven't got to try and hold the motherboard and the screw and the screwdriver all at the same time. I can just sit the motherboard in here and get the damn thing to line up. There we go. We're in. Go ahead and put all my screws back in. I'm not sure if I brought it through. Yeah, I did. I've got my little flash drive with the drivers on. So I can actually get this up and running properly. And then upgrade the video card if I so wish afterwards. I do have the LAN driver and the audio driver and the VGA driver for the board as well. I've never really bothered downloading BIOS drivers or anything like that because I found I've never really needed them. All the computers I've done have worked fine without them. So I, I don't know if anyone else has got the same opinion there, if it's necessary or not. That proves how much smaller that is. I've got two motherboard screws left over. Uh, wow. Before I connect this chassis fan up, I've got that another one kicking around somewhere. I may stick in this one. I've got a light up one somewhere. Right, let's stick in. Uh, right, let's get a 
12 volt cable plugged in. Tuck that around there. I'm not normally one that fusses over cable management either. Because unless you've got a transparent panel, which this one's got, you don't really see what's going on in there, do you? So, what's in the picture? Good. It's all visible. Now, what I've got in my little tub of tricks here is I've got one gigabyte stick. I don't know what PC it is. Oh, it's 3200. So what I need to do... I've got a stick here and I don't know what it is. Is that another gigabyte stick? It doesn't even say what the PC is. I mean, well, I'll put it in. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. <laughs> Great if it does work. I don't even think this is DDR. It is. It's DDR2. What was that nice pot? It should be in that pot. Right then. Back to the original plan. Well, there we go. <laughs> I'm not really fussed if they're the same make, so long as they're the same rate. Oh, these two are the same make, so I'll keep those as a pair for another machine. So, a couple of Infineons, which are the same make. It's 512. So that's the other thing you've got to ensure as well. If you're going to put more than one memory module in, that's got to be the same uh, rating for it to work efficiently. Otherwise, it may not, the computer itself may not pick one up. So, there we go, we've got our memory inserted. So, hard drives. I've got two hard drives on this. I've got the main one. I can't remember what the size it is. And I've got, if I can see it. Nope. Yep, yeah, 160 gigabyte storage drive. Looking at it though, I think that might be an 80 gigabyte main drive. Put the connector in up the right way, it does help. It might plug in if you put it in the right way around your plug. You put in our 20 pin connector. Like so. Oh, I'm a bit of a runny nose for some reason. I don't know if it's something in the air. Don't have a floppy disk drive on this, do I? No. No, what well, I didn't put one on, I put the card reader on. And that's what I've got in my hand here. You use the card reader cable. Just the USB one of those. I don't think so. It might be. No, well, that's the USB cables. Uh, it doesn't matter, they're both the same length, but it's going to be easier if I pop this one up the top of it, isn't it? I've got one USB header tucked up by the other USB ports. Which if I remember right, they are USB 2.0s on this one. What if I can just tuck that through there? Hey! There we go, bit of cable management. I need that out of the way anyway. <laughs> Well, I can see the panel, but I can't quite read the labels. So I'm going to do the front panel before I do the um, other bits. That's front audio. Seems to have a bloody pig missing. Right, go on there. 
gaming one. And I've got the four front panel cables. Where's this one? What have I got on the front? Is that the four wire? Ah. That's five wires, and that'll go on the com port one. Yeah, it matches with the com port, so. Go on com what? Com one, rather, not com what? No, it doesn't match. Yeah. Ah, so it looks like this board doesn't have a header for five wire. That doesn't matter because I don't use it anyway, so I just like to plug things in if I've got it. But if it hasn't got it, no worries. Okay, so I've got any small zip ties up here, otherwise I would uh, start zipping things up. I don't think. Ready this tool. I can't be bothered to go down and unlock the shed just to get some zip ties either. So, tuck them up out of the way as much as possible. Oh, I see, that's the extension cable for the fan. I wonder if I can get that to go up there. Might be able to. Then again, might not, because there's some Thing is in the way. Oh. Then again, I'll get my hand down there. I can go between the hard drives. Like a thought. Tuck that into there, like a thought. Tuck that back there. Let's tidy that up a little bit more. one at hand anyway. I don't know where there might be one. Nope. <sighs> I have loads of torches, but do you think I can find one when I want one? No batteries, no batteries. mind. That would just make my life a bit easier if I had one. What a dodgy one I had. What a dodgy switch. Still out. Where did I put that away? Oh. What I'm going to have to do then is lay it back so I've got the kitchen light shining in. Let's 
see if I can see it with a magnifying glass sitting over it. I got it. I got it. That's the hard drive LED. No idea which way around they did go. But uh, if it doesn't work one way, then all I've got to do is turn the wires around. It's this one. It's a power switch. That's a reset switch. And what's this one then? Oh, power switch is that colour, is it? Right, well, I've got to go around this way if we go by what the motherboard says. Right. Of course, I have to keep her ready for a test, but nope, not yet. Management is always a plus. And the USB cable's gone. Oh, here they are. What a hell of a way up there. Isn't that? All right. If I remember rightly. Turn that one on. Oops. I don't suppose that would have mattered. Makes my life easier that way. Hard to do this in poor light. Number two. There we go. Now I fill it up. I can plug all the junk in around the right way with help. Yeah. It's got six USB ports. Ooh. Six. That's the keyboard. Oh, that's audio. We will need that so we know the audio works. Keyboard. Keyboard. And of course, it's not going to work without any juice. So, conk. not going to work because I haven't got it plugged in. Still had the microwave plugged in from yesterday. It's fired up. It's just checking everything because it's changed to another board, haven't I? I wonder what DDR2 size that is. I'm going to have to uh, get one of my motherboards out and power that up and find out, I think. Ew. What does my window XP look like that? I hope that's because I need to install the VGA drive. bit video mode from the look of it. And it's all pixelated. Well, I 
doesn't appear to be any USB working either. At all. doing anything and stalling anything or I'll plug the USB stick in and I get a flash and that's it. I've got a bouncer on the edge for it to work at the front. Do anything because it doesn't work. Hmm. I'm starting to think I should have gone with the MSI board. No, this has got a uh, dodgy front USB port on it.
find the issue with that motherboard. Right, so I'm going to turn the camera off for a minute and uh, see what I can sort out. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> I think I've sorted a board out this time. Pinched this Foxconn board out of one of the white towers I had in the bedroom. Seemed to be the best option I've got at the moment. So, I've just fixed the motherboard in. I've had to change the power supply as well because I needed a 24 pin connector and uh, the one that was in here was only a 20 pin. So, I want to upgrade to SATA in this, I can. So I've got the um, SATA connectors on the power cable, that is. I've still got my PVC tape in here. I've just had no idea. Or did I move it? No, nope, knowing me, I've probably moved it. No, it's not where I thought it was going to be. I've got the drivers on my little flash drive. Oh. Oh well. Whoops. Careful Nemo, I'm getting under my feet again. Um, what are we going to do? Here we go! Hit this over. Red PVC tape somewhere. I was just going to uh, take the cables out of the way, that's all. Oh well. It doesn't matter. What I can do. I sort of figured I'd put the uh, heat sink on last as that usually gets in the way. I'll just get the other cables on. See, this is the cable I don't need. I can perhaps just tuck it up there out of the way. Just lay it in the uh, hard drive, not hard drive, the uh, CD ROM bays. What's this one? Right, that's hard drive. which was secondary and which was primary. It's round the other way on this board, that's your secondary. So, that's what your drives connect to. And your hard drives go on the prime route, primary. That's those. I haven't got a floppy disk drive, so I haven't got to worry about that. I'm not going to do my fan cable yet. main board cables the front panel cables first shall we Let's see if I can get that IDE cable up there at bloody way so what's yellow and white that's hard drive on the D which 
goes. There. My memory serves correct. How are everything goes below? I just need to stop that round one way already. Let's do power every day, because that's a bit trickier. out as well while I was looking for things. Might be 
better off putting a 2 gigabyte stick in rather than that 4. Right. I need some power. So let's connect some power. Back to that. Back to that. Fan cable, which I plan on changing at some point anyway. And last but not least, the second drive. in for some obscure reason and this one's got grease or something all over it. all the gear in and we'll see if it's going to do anything. life in it already. Look at the process of fan in. Do that.
line. with that later. Can't be bothered with it anymore tonight. So that is it for this video. It's a bit of a file. The damn thing isn't working. But, uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.